Right, what have we got today? Boosh, it's a bit of a small boosh today actually. Something from Xstar. Now before I go into the, all this and all, all my preamble, Xstar sent this to me. They said, Trail Track, have a look at this. It's it's a world's first. Now I'll be checking that. They claim this is a world's first because it has a way of checking its charge on a lithium ion 1.5 cell anyway. And they said, say what you want. We won't get to see it. We won't get to edit it. You will put in anything you want. Tell the truth. So that's exactly what this is. Right. This is something new from Xstar. Now as you know, and I always wrap it on about Xstar, this is, it's one of probably about three companies I can think of off the top of my head where sometimes they'll send me stuff and I'll write back and I'll say I don't like this and what about that and it's one of the few companies that actually come back and say well the engineer said this and the engineers have another question and some of the other ones they just ignore you they're like who's this idiot and I, I realize I'm a nobody on YouTube that is true however it's nice when they actually listen to what a user has to say so Xstar is one of those companies so this is the 3960s so what's a 3960 so as you know I love a rechargeable cell I even use the which I hardly really see these days I even use the rechargeable 9 volters here and um, don't ask me who Kratax are it sounds like a type of cracker that is used to eat with cheese but it isn't and I use these in smoke detectors and things like that I don't know why they still insist on using 9 volt batteries but they do uh, and I use those and I use the double A's and I use the uh, sorry triple A's and double A's so let's pop these out so you can actually see these are these are genuine cells that I use I even I've even been using some of the Amazon basics ones there's nothing wrong with them I use some of these and the larder ones from Ikea again nothing wrong with those either although I will say that for longevity I've noticed just my personal opinion and from the data that I've gathered over my use the any loop stuff tends to last longer and I do like the any loop pros so that's my preferred choice but I have been using these high quicks with my rudimentary testing, I'm not a lab, but with my rudimentary testing, I'm not getting 2800 milliamps. It's below, I would say it's below something like this, which is a 2500, I think. Uh, let's have a check. Yeah, minimum of 2500 milliamp hours on a 1.2 volts. This is a nickel metal hydride. These are all nickel metal hydrides. A standard AA would be alkaline, that is a non rechargeable, and they all output around, I mean, yes. And alkaline is 1.5 these will go down to 1.2 so some things that are sensitive to voltage won't like that that's not something i'm going to cover on this but what i will say is these maintain their voltage so um, i mean I'll, I'll put a link in the description you can go and have a look at all the graphs and claims by xstar because this is early days i'm still testing these things i'm not going to claim something that i haven't tested myself but i will tell you what the company is saying they are saying it will maintain, it'll almost maintain that 1.5 voltage output continuously until it gets to about the 10 percent mark and then there's a, there's a bit of a drop off there it's, it's like a huge drop off rather than that sort of nice curve that you'd see going down with a nickel metal hydride and alkaline and all that it maintains at 1.5 so nice to see so the model is the 3960 now it's lithium ion so in a normal cell would be alkaline these are nickel metal hydrides i've used nickel metal hydrides for years they're great they don't have memory effect like the crappy old nickel cards and things like that however we're moving on now in, in in regards chemistry now you could argue well what's the point what is the point when that's a 2500 and so are these so what's the point well the point is you can get a bigger power drain from these that's the claim anyway and they will maintain their output okay and the the charging recitals on this are crazy now do they put it on here let me have a look I don't think they do. However, I will tell you what their claim is. They are claiming you can get about 1,500 recharge cycles. Now, I do not expect you to have the capacity that you started with at that level, but my goodness, that is massive. I mean, generally on lithium ions, I use the 18650s and the 26650s and all sorts of big, big cells like that. And you're lucky to get sort of 300 to 500. I mean, it depends. You can still use them, but obviously their capacity drops and the same will happen on this, but that's a massive boost now. So... 1500 recharge cycles basically you can get these and they're going to last you most of your lifetime unless you you know recharge constantly or you're a massive vapor or something like that so let's go over the specs of this right quick look at this so xdor 3960s this was supposed to be a quick review i'm already up to about five minutes so lithium ion however they are 1.5 voltage so they are not the 3.7 to 4.2 general lithium ion cells the larger ones that's not what this is okay so just bear that in mind they are claiming now I had a good look at the website and they're claiming three amps max discharge. That's very high for this size of cell. And I couldn't find it on the website and I carefully checked the specs and I thought, yeah, but is that continuous? Because that's different from a burst. And on the box there, it's got constant power. Does constant power mean continuous discharge at three amps? I don't know. So I'm not making that claim. 
they are suggesting that on the box and I will I will do some more tests so take that with a pinch of salt though I haven't tested that yet and as they are claiming the 2500 milliamp hour high cap yeah I guess it is high cap and like I say I used these high quicks I wasn't getting 28 milliamp maybe I'm charging them wrong and my rudimentary testing is wrong because I'm a nobody but I wasn't getting that so I would suggest that most of them you'll get a 2500 there you go so that's what you're going to get so let's have a quick look at the box before I get these out and I'll show you the world famous well they are claiming world famous anyway it certainly is on a lithium ion that I've seen uh, but not on an alkaline there's the cells there now it does have a test now can you remember and I don't have any because I don't really use them anymore but on the old Duracell cells you would have a little button here and a button here and there'd be like a capacitive strip and what it would do is it would route the voltage and by connecting those two you would see a colour change and by looking at that colour change you could see how full the cell was we don't need that anymore because these have a system built in so watch this now come out the box so push. if I want to test any of these what before I fall over there if I want to test any of these for the capacity you simply touch the positive terminal so I'll just use any finger you touch it and hang on sorry now why is that not working? Have I, have I touched the wrong one? Oh, sorry. There, there. So, well, there's your first thing. That didn't work. Let's let's try again. Have I done something wrong here? So have I got grease on that finger and it's losing its capacity? What's going on here? No. Maybe they didn't hold long enough. Okay, fair enough. Let's test two more. I'm not touching anywhere else. Same finger. Can I see the green? Yes. Okay, so you have to press and hold. That's fine. Okay. So what's happening here is by touching this terminal, you are activating the light. Now, they are saying four flashes mean you were, uh, well, the capacity of this cell should be between 80% and 100%. Three flashes should mean it is 50 and 80. Two flashes is 20 to, uh, is it 20 to 50 around that range? And I think one flash is, you basically need to be recharging at that point. Um, I would, instead of saying one flash, I would prefer to have seen red for the zero to 20, but okay, one flash from them. And I'll just show you that so you can see one. So it flashes out the capacity. I think that's absolutely fantastic. I would like to have seen two LEDs. I know I'm starting to complicate things, but for a general populace, non-flashaholics, and so I'm not talking about people who watch this channel, that may be better. I th I'm thinking of transitioning to these for family and getting them for family because I'm sick of family messing about and or they'll get the ones with the type C here and they'll go, I've lost the lead and how I can't charge more than one at once. And I, it's a nightmare. Whereas with this, I, I can just say, look, there you go. It'll output 1.5 for all of your general devices. If you want to know what the capacity is, press the top and see what colour it goes. In fact, that didn't do it there, did it? Am I doing that right? Yeah, sorry. There you go. And it will flash it out. Again, I would have liked to have seen greens and then red when it is, come on, you must charge it now, otherwise you're going to start damaging the cell. So they are claiming that's a world first. Like I say, I've seen it on the alkalines in regards to a strip. That's been around for a long period of time. However, I don't think I've seen it like this, done like this with this method. So obviously because of this, this is a protected cell. And at the top, and I'll give you a close look here. I've done this in 4K. Under here, there is protection. So that will have overcharge, over voltage. I think there's a short circuit stopper in there and a temp over stopper. So if, it, if this goes massively hot when you're charging or something's go, going wrong, it will cut it off. Nice to see. In regards to temperatures, this will work between minus 20, that's in centigrade, and plus 60, again, that's in centigrade. So you make your conversions if you are in the good old USA there, but I'm sure you're able to do that. So pretty impressed so far. So again, I will do a lot more testing. And then after that, I think I may start transitioning to these from nickel metal hydrides. I keep buying these for family members and I've got a load of X-Star chargers that I give them because they're easy for them. They just put it in and when it's full, it stops charging and they're pulled out dead simple. I get them 8 bay chargers. Um, also some um, Nightcore do some good ones. I've got I've given those out to family. However, this may be something that I'll move to. The recharge cycles really impress me, if that's true, and the three amp discharge, if that's continuous. So bear that in mind. So there you go. So again, I'll go over the quick basics, 1.5. And again, I'll put a link in the description so you can go to their website. That's not a, an affiliate link. I don't make any money out of that or anything like that. It's just for your information. You can go to that and have a look and look at the graphs. So there's there's a nice close up. And then we'll look at this section here. Do not do this. Do not stick in your mouth and all that. Keep away from children, blah, blah, blah. Uh, reduction of harmful substances, the usual and made in China, that one. So X dot 3960. These are the double A. I don't know if they're going to do the triple A's, but I'll have a word with them. Um, and any, any feedback I need to give them, I'll give to the engineers. And I'll say, you need to look at this and see what they say. So pretty good. There you go. 
very impressed. So thank you very much for joining me. If you have any questions about these cells, stick it down below. I'll get to it as quickly as I can. And uh, this has been my honest quick review. And again, I'll do some more testing on it. So goodbye.